All right, let's take a look at a way to make random groups using a spreadsheet. Um, I'm on the direction sheet right here, and what you're going to do is create the uh, first identify how many groups you want. So let's say we want six groups. All right. Currently, there's nobody in these groups because I haven't pasted a list of names. So I'm going to go over to the data tab, and you'll see a column here for student names and emails. If you don't have the emails, that's fine. But if you do, um, you can use a tool like Formule to email students what group they're in and things like that. So there are advantages to having the emails. Once you have these student names pasted, all right, uh, you can unhide these columns if you want to see the formulas at work. But what it's going to do is assign each one of these uh, individuals a number, and then it's going to sort those based on these numbers. The problem with a spreadsheet, though, is every time you refresh a spreadsheet, uh, random number generators also regenerate. So we have to somehow make this dynamic list into a static list. So we're going to copy our groups, and we're going to paste using Control Shift V over into columns K, L, and M. Uh, now, pasting with Control Shift V will just make it static. It eliminates the formula. That's basically what happens. And so here's my list. All right, this is the place where if you if you realize two students couldn't be in the same group, you might want to change their numbers here. Um, if you go to the Sorted by Group tab, you'll see here's the list as well. All right. Um, and now let's say if we wanted to make eight groups, because I want smaller groups, all right? I could just change this to an eight, and now we'll have eight groups, all right? And when I go back to the data, remember this was pasted, column K, L, and M, they were pasted from this list. You have to repaste this, because um, now you can see there's eight groups, but there's only six over here. So I'm going to come back. Just don't forget to recopy this. and paste it again once you do any changes like that. All right, and now when I paste it, you go over to your sorted group, and now you'll see there's eight groups here, all right?